Welcome to Win With Barlow, the podcast where we turn your entrepreneurial dreams into reality. With your host, Akira Barlow. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of DNA testing businesses. Looking to maintain momentum or ready to scale? This series is your guide to success. Let's get started. Oh, hey, family. I hope you guys are doing well. I am doing pretty good. Can't complain. Here with another audio learning lesson for you. If you're checking us out on the podcast, I hope you guys are enjoying it over there. My YouTube family, listen, y'all are showing me so much love and I sincerely appreciate it. It is extremely inspiring and it really has me on a high. Like I am dropping these things left and right since these things are resonating well with you all. So welcome back. I'm Akira Barlow representing win with barlow you already know the vibes your big cousin is teaching you how to win in this dna testing thing all right in today's lesson we are going to talk about whether dna testing is really that easy starting this business is it really this simple is it really this easy i'm getting a lot of people that's hitting me up like look girl i don't think it's gonna be this simple i don't know if it's really this easy are people just second guessing um, how real this thing is, because I know that there's not a lot of information. There's not a lot of private successful businesses. So people are just interested and I get it. You want to know more? I was just like you. There wasn't a lot out there when I was doing my research. So I'm super excited to be a part of your learning journey. So if it really this easy, my honest opinion is, you know, I got to keep it real. So don't even look, y'all know I got to keep it real. It's not. <laughs> it's not it's not easy at all y'all it's not easy a lot of people have been hitting me up like Akira I started my business I'm not getting a lot of traction I'm not getting a lot of responses y'all it's not easy it is not this business requires a lot of trust it requires a lot of visibility a lot of marketing I know I talk about that all the time but it's really the truth. You're going to have to be visible. You're going to have to dedicate a lot of time to it. And to be honest, you got to spend some money to make some money, man. Let's just keep it real. Let's just call a spade a spade, man. You got to spend some money to make some money. Yes, you can do some cold calling. Yes, you can build a strong social media presence and get business. But you're going to have to spend a little bit of money to make sure that that visibility is on point and that and making sure that you're consistent with that that visibility. It's not easy getting clients. It's not easy having a business routine and sticking to it. It's not easy showing up in a space where you're new and unsure and you can't gauge whether this is for you or if it's just off to a slow start. I want to let you know that it takes time. OK, it does take time to create a business that is bringing in, you know, good money. And a, it takes time to establish that community trust. People have to make sure that this is a real place, that these DNA results are actually legitimate. They want to make sure that you're not going to run off with that baby's DNA. <laughs> it's a thing, trust me. Um, but no, it's not easy, y'all. I, I tell y'all all the time, I literally had my head down for two years straight, just grinding this thing out, which is why I tell you, you may not want to focus on adding to your team right away because you don't want to be splitting your money up. You want to focus on just establishing presence in the community trust. And that looks like a lot of networking. It looks like you showing up to places you probably normally would not, like the public health department, maybe even the local um, benefits office. Um, I have literally been everywhere marketing my business from the Medicaid office to the Social Security Administration, because, you know, that's where people go to apply for Social Security and change their names and, you know, get citizenship. So I market a lot there as well. So no, it's not easy, but it is worth it. If you create a business routine, if you are showing up consistently, and if you are making sure that you're doing the same things over and over to measure good results for the brand, you'll be fine. If you are marketing with a message, marketing with a meaning, you'll be fine. If you are listening to the things that I'm giving you, you'll be fine. And I know that it may not, how can I say this? I know that 
everybody is looking for that thing in this economy to make them some money, to leave their nine to five, or even just to get in this digital product race, right? Everybody's kind of just looking for something. So I get that DNA testing is new and that it's popular because I'm making it popular, so to speak. But it's also a business that requires that behind the scenes ambition and hustle. I tell people all the time, this business is not for the weak. It's not for a person that think that they can just market on Monday and just leave this thing alone and come back to it next week and think that they're going to get some money. It's not going to go that way. You're going to have to cold call and build leads. You're going to have to network and show up. You're going to have to have a plan and a strategy for your business in order for you to win at this thing. And so I don't want to sell you a dream and I don't I want you watching my content thinking that you're going to start this on a Tuesday and you're going to be rich by Friday. It's not that easy all the time. Yes, in some markets, it's a lot easier because people don't have a lot of options. And so once they see something, they really want to get it because they want to be a part of that new wave. It's just so much that goes into it. But my advice to all of you that are brand new, now think about, don't think about where I am, okay? Think about you starting this business in your area. It's a new business and you're just focusing on marketing. The thing with this DNA testing thing is that you can make it as hard or as complicated or as detailed as you want it, or you can make it as simple as you want it. Like you don't have to hire collectors. You don't have to have a sales team. You don't have to be marketing and running Facebook ads. It may be something that you just want to pick up and market to, you know, people here and there and just when you want to make some extra cash, right? So that's another thing that I like about it. You can just do kind of whatever you want. <laughs> I like that. But it's not easy if you're trying to establish a major empire like myself, right? It's not easy. I literally have bags under my eyes <laughs> every single day because I am up and I'm brainstorming or I'm building with my team or I'm making calls, just doing what's necessary to make sure that we're getting our business out there and that people are calling us. So that does require a level of creativity and it does require us to be intentional. DNA testing does have like seasons. So typically around the holidays, it's extremely busy. At the top of the year, when tax time is booming, we're booming. It kind of trickles off to like Mother's Day and Father's Day and it picks up a little then. And then after that, it kind of trickles off again into like maybe a little right before school starts. You may get like an influx of tests and then it kind of trickles off again. So it is a business that I would say does have peak times. Now, I'm going to bring a couple of special guests on real soon and ask them their opinion so we can get some other perspectives on this podcast. But in my perspective and just from my personal experience, I would say that, you know, this thing is not easy and I don't want anybody to feel like, you know, what is Akira doing that I'm not doing? I'm doing whatever she says and it's not working for me. It takes time. It is. It does take time. I would say that my success had a lot to do with the fact that I had capital. I had the money to be able to market. I had the money to be able to show up and dedicate to a lot of daycare socials and ice cream parties and pizza parties and, you know, stuff like that. So I would say it's not easy. Take your time. I have opened up my mentorship. So if you're catching this in July of 2024, because baby, I'm sure these videos will be out forever, right? <laughs> if you're catching this in July of 2024, I am opening my August mentorship. Um, It is one-on-one, -on -one, although, okay, let me backtrack because it's actually a group mentorship. So we'll meet every Sunday at 7 p.m. And then we will have 30 minute private sessions. I'm only taking about 10 people or so, I think. Yep. About 10 people, maybe eight. But the link is in the description box. If it's not working, that means that it's sold out. But my mentorship is literally for people who can really devote to this, commit to this, and got the capital to show up for their brand. That's extremely important. If you're still in the building stages and you know your money a little funny, just wait, okay, and do a one-on-one -on -one consult or something um, because I really want to work with some people that have the means and the capability to really make this happen. I'm just, I don't want to work with somebody that got excuses or a sad story because, baby, we all got them, okay? All right? So it's not easy, y'all, running this thing. It's not easy making this 
thing as huge as I'm trying to make it. It's not, but it is worth it. It's such a unique business. It's never going out of style. And it, like it's recession proof. I absolutely love the DNA testing industry. So just be prepared to work and hustle like never before. If you can commit to doing that, then this will be worthwhile for you as well. So that's my take on that. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in our next audio learning session.